Shukdev was born from the divine fire when Veda Vyas was making yagya. Shukdev came out, he bowed down to his father and said, Father, what shall I do? And the father said, go learn the Vedas, study with Brihaspati. Sukhdev studied with Brihaspati for many years and he became expert at Veda and Vedanta and he got his Samavarta and he came back, his graduation from studies, the guru sent him back to his father's home. You are now Vedvid, you are a knower of the Vedas. And Sukhdev bowed down to his father Veda Vyas and Veda Vyas kissed him and hugged him and said, My son, you have come back full of knowledge. And Shukdev said, Father, now what do you want me to do? And Father said, According to our scriptures, you should now, you finished your brahmachari stage, you should now become a grahasta, get married, have a family, make a contribution to this world, make this world a better place because of your having been here. And Shukdev said, Father, you've got to be kidding me. I was born from the divine fire. I had a father like Veda Vyas. I was studied under a guru like Brihaspati, the guru of the gods. I learned for many, many years Veda and Vedanta, and now you're throwing me into the world pit, a pool of maya and attachment. You want me to get married? No way. Now Veda Vyas tried again and again and again to convince Shukdev, you got to get married. That's what it says in the scriptures. You studied the scriptures. First you're a brahmachari, then you're a grahasta, then you can become banaprasta, and then you become sannyas. And nobody skips a step. No matter how Veda Vyas pleaded with Shukdev, Shukdev refused to get married. He said, no way. And Beta Bias said, I'm at my wit's end. I don't know how to convince this kid what he should do, what's best for him. I don't know how, how can I, it, it, he won't follow my instructions. I'm telling you, Shuk Dave, if you don't believe me, go see Janak Raj. Go sing the King Janak. Get, get darshan of King Janak. And then you come back here and see me and I will allow you to do anything you choose to do. You make your own decision. So Shukdev went to see Janak and he had to cross all of India and he had so many adventures on the way and I'm out of time so I, don't tell you, I can't tell you all the adventures he had on his way. He got to Janak's court in Mithila and he was greeted by the guard who said, uh, who are you and what business do you have in our city and where do you think you're going? And Shukdev said, uh, I'm a Brahmin, I've come to see the king, uh, my father sent me, and, uh, the, but I, I don't think there's any reason to see the king. My father said that I would sing, uh, see the darshan of someone who's known as Bideha. He who doesn't have a body. He's liberated while living, he's a Jivan Mukta. And here, this man is so bound by attachment, he's got guards and soldiers standing with weapons around his city saying, who are you and what business do you have to enter my door? I have no reason to go in at all. I don't even want to see this guy. I'm going home. And the guard said, wait, wait, please, Brahman, I didn't mean to offend you. It's just that my job is to stand here and ask everybody to... Who are you and what business do you have to come into the city? And where are you going and what, what is your purpose here? But I can tell you are a noble man, you are a knowledgeable man, and uh, please feel free to go about your business. And Shukdev said, well, I know this is a wasted trip. And I know there is no, nothing to be accomplished here, but I've come this far, I might as well just go in and look around. And he walked into the to the city and he saw and, and normal people conducting the normal functions of life. And people were bartering and people were, were bickering and people were trying to bargain over the price of goods and commodities and trying to beat each other down to the lowest common denominator. And everyone was just normal. Ad nauseum. Normal. 
And so uh, when uh, Janak uh, heard that Sukhdev, his guru's son, had come to see, to see him, uh, he sent the prime minister. Uh, and the prime minister uh, went and greeted Sukhdev and invited him into the hospitality chambers where he was served delicious food and he was massaged by beautiful maidens and given a nice bath and given fine clothes to wear and treated like a royal guest. And, and Sukhdev said, what nonsense this is. I'm a Brahmin. I, had a, I was born from the divine fire. I had a father like Veda Vyas. I had a guru like Brihaspati. I studied the Vedas for all my life. And here these people are trying to bribe me with, with beautiful clothes and sumptuous feasts and beautiful ladies. I have no desire whatsoever. Well, the night passed in this way. So Dave got up early in the morning and performed his meditation. And he performed his puja. And then he recited his pot. And then he had his breakfast. And then the king sent for him. And he went into the audience chamber with, Bia, uh, with uh, Janak Raja, the king, and Janak uh, greeted him politely and gave him a seat, and they sat down and began to talk. And uh, Janak said, what is the purpose of your visit here? And uh, Sukhdev said, king, I was born from the divine fire. I had a father like Veda Vyas. I had a guru like Brihaspati. I studied the Vedas and I came home and my dad said, get married. I said, what nonsense. Why shall I get married and bind myself to the attachments to a wife and family, household, a need for an income, all that nonsense, when here I am with this knowledge and this mind, I'm already feeling free. Why should I do that? And John said, well, you know, it says in our scriptures <laughs> that a man should stay, he should be a brahmachari, and then he becomes a grahasta, and then he's a bonaprast, and then he takes sannyas. And Shukdev said, I've heard that all that before. I'm not interested. A man who is bound to a sacrificial pillar could hope for escape. But a man who's bound to care for a wife and family can never hope for escape. Where is he going to run away to? How can he flee from the attachments, the bondage to family? I don't want to get married. Janak said, well, this is our custom and this is our tradition and this is the best thing in your interest because who knows, when you go into the forest, even you are a one man by yourself, you have an asan, you have a water pot, you have a stick, these are yours. There's no, much, no less attachment to these articles. And so they responded, king, Look at all the stuff that you have. You've got this whole kingdom and this throne and this golden crown and all these silk cloths and these sumptuous feasts and all these beautiful ladies to wait and serve on you. Aren't you attached to them? And Jonak said, what you say is very true. I have all of these responsibilities, but none of it is mine. I'm administrator of this kingdom on behalf of a higher king. I'm only a servant in the kingdom of God. And that's why they call me liberated while living. Shukdev bowed down to the king and went back to Veda Vyasa's house and said, Father, whatever you say, I'm ready to do. And as the story went, I have just a few minutes more, Shukdev got married, and he had two children, 
and he educated his children. He gave his daughter and son in marriage uh, and he fixed their marriage and set them up in, in their own households with their own livelihoods. And when they were uh, uh, firmly established, he said, okay. And he ascended to heaven. And Veda Vyas is called out, Shukdev, come back down here. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> I wanted a son so that someone would be here to, uh, poster, poster, posterity would be here in order to, to perform my funeral rites so I could go to heaven. And here you've achieved liberation and you are ascending to heaven and leaving me here. And Sukhdev called down to his father, Vedavyas, Father, don't look at me through the eyes of attachment. Look at me through the eyes of wisdom and know that I have fulfilled my dharma, I have fulfilled my highest purpose on this earth, and now I am free to ascend. You still have karma left to perform. You remain and perform it. Om Sam Saraswati Namaha Namaste.